Welcome back to Corbin AI, where I am showing you how to start leveraging artificial intelligence in your personal and your business life. This tutorial is part of our series where we are diving into Zapier and showing you everything you need to know when it comes to artificial intelligence and automation. For this specific video though, we're gonna be covering a very specific toolkit app that Zapier has, which is called Digest. Essentially what Digest allows us to do is send out um, like amounts of data that we are that we deem as important to us on an interval period. Let's go ahead and jump in here. This will make more sense. But to start off, let's learn more about essentially what Digest is and essentially how to start leveraging it. So if we scroll down here, essentially the way that individuals use Digest is for a bunch of different use cases. But as you see here, we only have three different triggers here or actions. And typically what happens in this context is you will want to take events that happen within your business's backend and send you kind of like a weekly digest, a daily digest of information that you can kind of look at for whatever the reason may be. Now in this specific tutorial, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you two different use cases to use digest. And then on top of that, we're gonna go ahead and do an a advanced flow using digest so you can really see the full breadth of what this different specific toolkit app can do. If I can speak today, I'm gonna come back over here to zap here. I'm gonna create a new zap in our public zaps here at Corbin AI. And essentially our first Zapier we're gonna build out using Digest is going to be based off RSS feeds. And the purpose of this Zap is gonna be essentially, we're gonna look for a specific keyword that appears in the RSS feeds that we provide. These are gonna be news oriented RSS feeds. And when they appear, we're gonna then use ChatGPT analysis to deem whether or not they are what we're specifically looking for. And then finally, we're gonna go ahead and put it in our Digest and kind of see how that works. So let's go ahead and rename this to investing alert. And essentially the context we're gonna use for today's case is let's just assume that we're looking for a very specific ticker that we wanna be alerted on for our, when the RSS feed and it shows up in the RSS feed. So we're gonna go ahead and do create uh, new items in multiple feeds. This is gonna allow you to essentially get a full breadth of different backends or different uh, you know, service providers. So from here, you're gonna provide feed URLs and all you need to do essentially is find essentially, you know, different providers of this information that you deem as relevant. So we're gonna go ahead and use CNN money and we're gonna use uh, CNBC investing RSS feed. So for us, we're gonna come down here and look for investing real quick. All right, so as you see here, we got markets. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this RSS feed like this. I'm gonna go ahead and copy the URL up here, come back over to Zapier, let's go ahead and exit out of that, put that in there. So we got our first RSS feed, and then the second RSS feed we're gonna use here is going to be from CNBC, and we're gonna go ahead and grab the URL up here. All right, so one thing I wanna point out is with that specific URL, I had to come back over here and make sure the RSS feed that you're grabbing has a Dart RSS or ends in the RSS, and as you see, if you come over here, this was this specific URL in this specific context. But as you see from here, we can go ahead and hit continue here. And then we're gonna say, essentially we can see that we have all the relevant records that show up recently. We're gonna go ahead and say continue. The thing I wanna point out here is let's actually continue with a specific record that it's gonna you know, align how we're gonna approach everything from here on out. So let's go ahead and look through here real quick. Okay, so since this one identifies Barnes and Noble, let's just say in your context, you are looking for articles that are specific to Barnes and Noble. This could be anything, this could be Bitcoin, this could be SPY, this, and past this, this could be applied to anything within that specific context. But for here, we're gonna go ahead and do a chat GPT block here. And we're gonna go ahead and just say conversation. We're gonna hit continue here, continue here. And then we're gonna do a user message. We're gonna say based on this article. And then we're gonna go ahead and put a semicolon. And we're gonna go ahead and give the article title and then we'll do the article description and essentially we'll provide the relevant information here of what we care about so i'm gonna go ahead and do that so for the article title i'm gonna put this in here and then for the description put that in there and we're gonna go ahead and you, you could use gpt 3.5 i'm gonna up it to gpt4 it requires less proctoring here and then i'm gonna say generate a yes we do semicolons here yes or no if it has to do with Barnes uh, and Noble. So I know this is a very niche example, but I, this is just giving you, you an idea of how Digest works, as you'll see here, and also how to leverage ChatGPT if you need to filter the information before even receiving that information, if that makes sense. So we're gonna go ahead and test this step here, and then it should say yes. We should just get an output of yes. If not, we're gonna have to reproctor this. So we got an output of yes, perfect. We're gonna go ahead and add a filter step here that essentially we're gonna use this filter step as a way to make sure that 
so that every time a new item is found in this RSS feed, we aren't going to be adding it to that digest. And you'll see what I mean here real quick. So we're going to go ahead and do a reply here. I'm going to say, based off the reply, only continue if it exactly matches yes. Then we're going to hit continue here. And then from here, essentially, since this specific article we were dealing with is going to have to do with Barnes & Noble, because that's what we care about in this context, now we can add that digest block. So essentially, this digest block, we can go ahead and say, uh, append entry and schedule digest. I'm going to continue here. And then we're going to give this digest a title. So we're going to go ahead and just call it, you know, uh, Barnes and Noble information. And oh, it just fell there. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, so we're going to do our entry here. And essentially, this is where we're going to provide our relevant information. So the way we can go ahead and structure this is I can go with title, and then I'm going to do link. So what's important here is as you'll see, so let's go ahead and just real quickly edit this out and then you can kind of see how this works. So we're gonna go ahead and just say like, let's do weekly and day of the week. Let's say every Sunday we want this digested and sent to us. We're gonna say time of the day, let's say, send it to me, you know, bright or early in the morning at 8 a.m. Essentially the way this works is this. So we're gonna say test step, it found an article and it's gonna push it to this new sheet that it has in the back end. Watch this though, if I retest this step, look what's gonna happen. Another one's gonna be found. So essentially the way this works is that every single time in those seven days, a Barnes and Noble article is found, we're gonna add to this value that's being created here. So if I retest, obviously it's gonna look the exact same, right? Because we're using the same data here. But in theory, if it would have passed through this filter, these would be three different articles that are associated with Barnes and Noble. So what I can do from here is I can then use that and we can use a block like uh, email by Zapier and we can go ahead and, you know, this could be a Slack channel as well. This could be any context. So if you're using this more in a business context, this may be leads of the week. This may be, you know, different engagement that you have on your organic traffic, stuff of this nature. We can go ahead and send an outbound email here. You know, let's send it to our main account here. So we're going to go ahead and send this to our courses account here at Web Cafe AI. We're going to do a subject and say Barnes and Noble Digest. And you can provide it in either HTML or plain. So for this context, we'll just do plain. And essentially, we're going to say current digest. And then from here, we can go ahead and just send it. So you can add more relevant information. But as you'll see here, if we test this step, essentially, we're going to go with the theory that for seven days, we were listening to these RSS feeds. You were then filtering the information with our chat GBT block to identify whether the RSS feed outputs are relevant to what we care about. And then we're going to send it every Sunday to us in an email format. So if I come over to our courses account, here we go. We got Barnes and Noble Digest coming from a Zapier email and we got the different articles that are relevant to what we care about. And I can go ahead and click one and it'll take me directly to that specific article that is relevant for what we care about. So let's go ahead and make this a little bit more complex though. So now we know how to intuitively use Digest. We understand that essentially this is for data compressing and essentially sending it out based off relevant information. We're gonna go ahead and you know, delete this step here. This could be anything within your systems or within your backends, but we're gonna go ahead and change this to essentially, so continue. And instead of frequency being weekly, we're gonna say manual. So then we're gonna say, remove these extra fields, we're gonna continue. And then we can go ahead and uh, test this step again. And I'm just gonna go ahead and publish this. So now that we have a zap that essentially is working, I'm gonna go turn that one off, that's from a previous tutorial. But now that we have a zap that essentially is working around the clock for seven days, where essentially it's only going to release that data based off a manual push, we're going to create another zap here. So we're going to show you essentially how to connect data for specific inquiries coming from different directions. So for this specific one, we're going to use instead of an RSS feed, we're just going to use YouTube. And we're going to use under the context essentially anytime a specific video that's made about Barnes & Noble shows up in YouTube, we're going to send it here as well. So we're going to go ahead and do Barnes and noble and we're going to go ahead and hit continue here test this trigger all right so as you see here this is going to trigger anytime barnes and noble shows up as a new youtube video so let's go ahead and you know you know barnes and noble let's do win to barnes and noble hashtag for you page hashtag viral we're going to continue with selected here and what's great about this is i actually don't have to give chat gbt discretion here due to the fact that the initial trigger is already using barnes and noble as its specific keyword now that is obviously very specific to this context, but keep in mind, so I don't have to do that. But what I can do here is now that I understand that anything that comes through here is gonna be specific to Barnes and Noble, I can go ahead and add this digest block. And with this digest block, we can go ahead and say append entry and schedule digest. And we're gonna go ahead and hit continue here. 
the title for us was Barnes and Noble Information. From here though, we can go ahead and say title of the underlying video, and then we can go ahead and give our youtube.com URL here. We can choose our frequency. We're gonna make sure we choose manual again. And as you saw there, that's pretty cool, right? You can also choose the threshold of, uh, you can also choose the frequency of threshold. So this could be relevant to whatever context that may be. Maybe you only want to send a digest when you reach 10 leads in this. Maybe you only want to send that digest when a certain variable reaches a certain level. So that's a good idea to know. But for now, we're going to use manually here. We're going to go ahead and test this step. And let's go ahead and test it twice. So you can kind of just see what I'm talking about here. So as you see, these are the entries from our RSS feed automation, but now we're getting the entry from our YouTube automation. So we're compiling it all into one list here. So I'm gonna retest this step again. And as you see, we'll get another YouTube video. As you'll know, this will this will be a new video in the context of Barnes & Noble. So once we build out both of these flows here, we get to the last step here. We're gonna do our final automation. So if I come back here real quick, um, let me go ahead and name this to YouTube Barnes. And then I'm gonna come back over here. Yes. Google, please let me leave. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and not turn that on. Let me go ahead and just turn this off real quick. Okay, we'll let that go. We're gonna create a new zap here and we're gonna say final uh, digest. And the way we trigger this is kind of how we had it for just a specific niche one where we chose our frequency. We're just gonna use a scheduler block here. So we're gonna do scheduler and we're gonna do choose an event every week. And then we're gonna choose the event of the same times that we had last time. So we're gonna have every Sunday at 8 a.m. We're gonna go ahead and release this digest. I'm gonna say test trigger here. And then we're gonna do an event of digest here. And very simple here. All we gotta do is release existing digest, hit continue, choose the digest. And we already know it's called Barnes and Noble information. We're gonna continue here. We're gonna test this step. This should be all the relevant information from both of the zappers we just created here. As you see, this works. And then finally, this is where we set up our notification process. So in our context, I'm just gonna go ahead and use mail by Zapier. If you wanna show me mail by Zapier, there we go, email by Zapier, because it's email. And essentially we're gonna send an outbound email here, Get to hit continue here, and we're gonna go ahead and put our courses account again. If I can spell information, and then the body will just be body plain here. We're gonna go ahead and get our final digest and hit continue here, and let's see this in the uh, front end. So we come over to Gmail, as you see here, it shows up right here. We got our relevant emails, or sorry, relevant articles that showed up from our RSS feed automation. Then we got the relevant videos that show up based off our YouTube automation, all compiled, all digested, sent out every Sunday at 8 a.m. put to our email here. So this shows you the value of essentially using digest in the context of Zapier automations. This seems like a powerful way where essentially rather than you kind of ciphering through your data manually for relevant data points that you care about within your business, now you can kind of compile it into a weekly digestible, you know, piece of information that you can read at the end of the week rather than, you know, starting your Monday off or essentially let's, let's look at these major KPIs. Let's look at these major fundamental stuff. Now we can kind of push it to a digest block that essentially will give us the relevant information that we care about in our business. So if you found value in today's video make sure to like it's completely free to help us here at corbin ai if you like this style video check out the playlist at the end of this video as we're diving into all 5,000 apps in zapier and i'm showing you how to leverage every single one and on top of that with artificial intelligence so this is brand new stuff right on the frontier without further ado we do daily artificial intelligence content so make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thanks for tuning in and yes surprise i'm an ai avatar make sure to explore more here at corbin ai where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.